really want to find that one. I want to experiment what I like. And you know what? I'm ready to lose my virginity to either vitamin D or vitamin B. How are you, my darlings? You all right? Oh, well. Pleasure. Good, good it to pleasure. see you. So what are you looking for, Navid? I want to experiment what I like, if it's either male or female, because I haven't really explored my sexuality properly. I just don't have experience in dating and when it comes to being in a relationship, because I've not really been in a relationship. So I think that's what's causing the nerves, to be honest. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. The hardest thing about all of this is that I just don't even know what I want. I don't even know where to start. I feel like Paul and Anna have a challenge on their hands. We often focus on, you know, who you want, but why should someone want to date you? Oh, my darling, they should date Nava because I'm the EST of everything. I'm the coolest, wickedest, smartest, you know what I mean? <laughs> Awkwardest, weirdest, virginiest. I definitely want to find the love of my life. And yeah, well, you know, just I need to get it popping. Do you know what I mean? We just have to get it rolling. You think so? <laughs> yeah. you, th you think so? This is this is good. Let's get popping. Yeah. This is good. We can we can definitely get popping. Definitely, I'm ready, honey child. Yes. Oh dear. Hi, you're right. Nice to meet you. You okay? Navi, thank you so much. I'm really Pleasure. Nice to meet you. You okay? Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Just go for a second. So tell me a bit about yourself. Have you been on any dates before? That you, yeah, or, yeah, I have been on a few dates. I'm on all the dating apps. I love it. I'm giving it my best shot, basically, yeah. um, but not very lucky in love. Still waiting for the right one for me. So yeah, have you been in many relationships before? I've not been in a relationship before. Same here, I've same never here. dated any. Well, well, to be honest, I've not been in an actual date. Yeah. And yeah, and I'm still a 28 proud virgin. 28 year old proud virgin. Yeah. Do cheers to that. Cheers to that. that. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with that. Not at all. You get 10% off at Games Workshop. If you don't mind me asking, are you like a virgin as well? Um, I, I'm not. <gasps> She's had sex. So what would you say is your usual type? What do you usually go for? So obviously, like right now, I'm, I'm, I'm like open minded. So I'm trying to see if I like more women or men. For, but if it's more like women, it would definitely be more like, you know, your kind of like personality and that kind of Nicki Minaj vibe. And like, do you know what I mean? That kind of like curve, that sass, you know, all of that. Are you a fan of Nicki? I am a fan of Nicki. Oh, I'm actually a big girl. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> It's so great that Emily's a fan of Nicki Minaj because I can talk about her for hours. Take care. Thank <laughs> Take you, Lily. Bye-bye. Well. Thank you. Just not with her, apparently. Anyway, well done, Nav. You've popped your mixer cherry. Go on, boy. With me, I don't have any experience when it comes to, like, relationship and stuff like that. So even while I was on The Apprentice, I was just judged because of the fact that I'm, like, a virgin and all of that vibe. Do you know what you I mean? You were judged for that? Yeah. There's no just, for that. Yeah, exactly. I mean... What do you think of the fact that I am a virgin? Does that kind of... What do you Not think of that? I mean, I respect that decision, and that's your decision to make, so... But would you kind of, like, break someone's virginity? Like, do you feel confident in doing that? Well, maybe after another glass of Prosecco, but we've already come on a cone and I'm breaking the virginity, so, you know... Ah, <laughs> oh, Navid. Now, he really is my intrigue, because he doesn't really know what he wants. You sure about that, Anna? He basically just asked some Welsh geezer he's known for three minutes to deflower him. I was actually a Googling on the internet the kind of questions you ask on a typical first oh, date. <laughs> oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. So I hope you don't mind. I just oh, literally made okay, you up questions. Right. That's what I mean. I'm okay, game. Go for it. This is madness, but I'm into it. Let's play. What makes you unique? Uh, my accent. I've got a square testicle. Next. Next question. What are some random facts about you? I invented the words chillax and primani. I get my leg behind my head, so, you know. Oh. <laughs> what is something you want to be better at? Risotto. Too much stirring. I think I would like to be <laughs> better at my job, probably. What about you? Perhaps it's maybe not checking people's phones. What? Basically, I feel like if someone doesn't show their phone, it's kind of like a red flag. It means that they're hiding something. Yeah, I get that. Do you want to look at my phone? <laughs> well, well, you know, I mean... That's a hard yes. I just check him. No. That's what you were getting at. <laughs> And I have to be honest with you, there was a guy in the past that I used to like. He kept hiding his phone from me. Because you kept checking it? And you know what? I kept messaging and calling him. If he doesn't answer his phone, I kept calling him like 20 times. Like, why are you not answering your phone? Are you like hooking up with someone? I get paranoid. Well, that is clearly paranoia, 20 times. How long were you dating him for? It wasn't a day. He was just like leading me on. In fact, he was actually sleeping with girls behind my back. And well, you know what they say, karma bites back in the arse. Ah, oh, yes, Dalai Lama, if I'm not mistaken. You know, like, when you go on dates, for example, like, well, well, this is the first day, but, like, in the dates that you've been on previously, uh, this may sound like a stupid question. Oh, this is a bit more like it. But you know what? Go I'll on. just say it as it is. Go on. How do you usually... Is Navlar getting romantic already on his first ever date? 
how do you usually work with the bills and stuff? Do you guys, like, do you split it or do you pay for it? How does that work? I, I, either way. I know that's a really dumb question, but, you know... No, I think it's a valid question if you haven't dated much before. Yeah, so. exactly. And uh, even when it comes to the bedroom, I'm very inexperienced as well. Oh, Jesus. I right. know. Oh, we always go Dutch in the bedroom. She shoves a dam in my mouth and whacks my ass with a clog. But, you know, obviously, I mean, well... You know, you do occasionally watch videos and stuff like that. Let's be real. Well, let's be fair, we all have. Yeah, of course. How would you describe yourself, like, in the bedroom with here? So you go, you're going in for the questions today. I know. Is that going into too much deep question? I mean, is that a deep question? Do you want question? my credit history as well? Fingerprint? When Retina? <laughs> no, that's, that's taking a bit too far. But I wouldn't mind actually Maybe checking your credit history, though. <laughs> Look at his eyes. He's not even joking. He wants his credit history all up in his grill. I'm definitely interested in going out with you again as a second date. But at the moment, I also want to experiment to see yeah, what absolutely. I like. And you should. Enjoy the process, play the field, thank see you what so you like, much. see what you don't like. Nathan, it was lovely seeing lovely you, my darling. Lovely seeing darling. you too, and thank Give you again for the question. Love you so much, you're amazing. Love you so much, you, chillax you, Navlon. Thank you haven't checked if he's eligible for a loan yet. I have never had a date like that before. I could tell that he's not that experienced at dating, just given the interrogation. And it's definitely going to be a date I will never forget. How did you find the mixer overall? You know, it was really nerve-wracking. Sorry, did he say nerve-wracking? It was something that I don't do really. I never really go out and socialise as much with people. So it felt out of my comfort zone. Sounds very nerve-wracking to me. Which brings us on to, to the date. Yes. Which was your... First, yes. Date. I mean, I feel like I interrogated him like a police officer. It wasn't exactly line of duty, mate. Because I had like questions. Because before I went on the date, I was like, you know what? Let me search on Google the top questions to ask when you go on a date. Because I was always worried what happens if the conversation doesn't flow or if there's nothing to talk about. From zero to 10, 10 being the best, how do you think you did? In I, terms of your effort, everything that you, you put forth. Personally, I'll give like a solid six. But how do you think Nathan viewed the date? What would you say? Um, I would think maybe a solid five or six as well. I hope his credit score is higher than that. I don't know if he maybe was being polite or he was being honest. I don't know. Well, let's, let's, let's find, find out. out. Yeah, exactly. We asked Nathan several questions. Not more questions, poor The first question was, do you fancy Navid? And Nathan said, no. Yeah. <sighs> 